Hey, I'm Luke Williams with Hoppies, and today I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble and clean the Ruger 1022. People always ask how often should I clean my gun, and that depends on a lot of variables such as, you know, your location, the humidity, if it's going to be in any kind of debris, how often you're shooting it. So always make sure you check with the manufacturer's recommendations. Now let's go ahead and break this down and get it cleaned up. Before we get going on this 1022, we want to make sure that it's safe and clear. So we're going to drop the magazine, visually and physically inspect the firearm itself, making sure there's no rounds inside the chamber. And then we're going to set all that to the side somewhere away from our work area. Don't skip this step as it's the most important thing you'll do in this entire process. To begin breaking down the 1022, we're going to remove the barrel bag. It should slide right off the top after loosening. Next, you're going to remove the screw on the bottom of the stock, and then make sure that your safety is centered in the middle so that you can pull the receiver away from the stock. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the three pins. This will release the trigger group and the bolt. Pay attention to how the bolt and recoil spring comes apart, as they can be a struggle during reassembly. Now, let's get to cleaning. You're going to first run a brush that has been dipped in Hoppy's gun bore cleaner through the barrel. Now we're going to send a patch coated in Hoppy's number 9 gun bore cleaner through the barrel, followed by a dry patch. We will do this until we get a clean patch back. Then, we're going to send a patch through that is coated in Hoppy's lubricating oil. Now using the lubricating oil, we're going to clean the exterior of the barrel, the trigger assembly, bolt, and the recoil spring. You will likely need some utility brushes and picks to get in some of those hard to reach areas. Once we have all the gunk cleaned up, we will add a drop of lubricating oil to all the high friction areas. And last, we'll put it all back together, finishing it off with a wipe down. All right, now that we got the 1022 all put back together and cleaned up and looking nice, we're gonna go ahead and put this back in a safe location per the manufacturer's instructions. If you have any questions, maybe you're new to the gun industry, or if you've been around the gun industry forever and you have a ton of knowledge, we'd love to hear about all of it. Share it in the comments below. For more information, visit hoppies.com.